Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Hey everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. The holidays are right around the corner and you all are looking for that perfect appetizer to put on your dinner table. Well listen here, you are in for a treat because today I'm gonna to show you how to make pinwheels that are so beautiful, they scream the holidays. They have Christmas colors going all throughout. They're very easy to make. They do not require a lot of ingredients and listen here, if you're making them Gina Young style. They're gonna be so tasty. Here's what you're gonna need. Okay, everybody, before we get started, I want to wash my hands and wash my arms up very well before we get started. So I'm gonna do just that in this manner. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. I hope you all are having a great weekend as well. Now, one thing that I want you all to know is because Christmas is around the corner, 90% of the videos that I'm gonna be doing is going to be getting you all prepared for the holidays. We're making more holiday dishes. We just went through Thanksgiving food. Now it's time to show you how Jeannie Young makes lots of my Christmas hors d'oeuvres, Christmas snacks and cookies and everything that I like to have on my Christmas dinner table. I'm gonna show you all. Okay, so first thing that, let me, let's go through the ingredients. We have ranch powder that you will need, okay? I have imitation crab meat that is absolutely amazing. You're gonna need some beautiful cucumber, and I've washed all of my vegetables. Make sure you wash your veggies off. I have a red bell pepper, as well as a green bell pepper. We have some fresh spring onions, green onions, scallions, there's so many different names for them. And I have some beautifully sliced hard salami, and you can see that it's sliced nice and thin. I'm gonna show you something really interesting that we're gonna do with the salami. And now, when I'm making the pinwheels, I like to use the whipped Philadelphia cream cheese, okay? The whipped is really, you can kind of see the consistency. It's so easy to spread versus getting the regular kind of cream cheese, which you can. You wanna set it at a room temperature and you might have to heat it up for maybe five to seven seconds just to get it nice and spreadable, okay? And then I have two bowls here because I'm gonna show you how to make two separate pinwheels. Okay, now, there's so many of these beautiful wraps that you can purchase. I have the garden spinach herb. This is the green one, and I think it makes for a really festive color. It makes it nice and beautiful. And then we have the regular flour tortilla. Okay, and then they have a sun-dried tomato one that has a hint of red going throughout it if you'd like to use that as well. So now the first one I wanna show you how to make will be the crab. We're gonna do a seafood pinwheel that is so flavorful. It's gonna knock you off of your seat. But the first thing we need to do is get these beautiful veggies nice and cut, okay? So then, Let's go ahead and cut up our green onions just like so. So now when you're making these pinwheels for the holidays, I highly suggest that you use um, the red and the green. It really makes the color pop and it screams holiday. So that's what we're gonna cut up. And you can cut these up in medium pieces or you can cut them up in small pieces. I kind of like to make mine small, but I don't want it to be too small. I want it to be big enough so that it'll show through um, that cream cheese, okay? And the color will pop. So let me show you. You want to try to make them all the same size, all right? No one wants to bite down into a huge piece. But, and then also, there's also um, the option of using the orange and the yellow bell pepper as well but since it's christmas time green and red is what i prefer if you and your family members love black olives by all means you can put some black olives in there but you don't want to use too much and it really makes the color pop 
But I'm not gonna do the black olives today because my husband is really not a fan of the black olives and he adores these right here. He really does, he loves them. So I'm gonna continue to slice up my peppers once I get them all sliced up in this manner. I'll be right back and I'll show you what else we're gonna do next. Okay, so we have all of these beautiful veggies cut up and let me show you the size. Perfect size, not too big and not too small. Now we're gonna cut up a little bit of scallions, not too many, just a little bit goes a long way, trust me when I tell you this. I'm gonna use just a little bit of the whites just a little bit, and that's all we're gonna need, okay? Now, as far as the green part, I want a nice amount, okay? Let's see, we cut the ends off. I have sun that is just dying <laughs> to get through my window. So like if I move like this, you guys are gonna get a bunch of sunlight. So I'm trying to block the sunlight. It's beautiful outside, it's freezing outside, and the pond in the back is frozen but it's so beautiful outside. See this green? Oh, you have to have those green onions when you make this seafood pinwheel. Okay, and that's all we're gonna need. Beautiful, that little tiny bit of the white. Okay? So now, and then we're gonna need cucumber. Now it's really up to your discretion whether you want to leave the peel on. Typically when I use cucumber, I like to take some of the cucumber skin off, okay, and leave some on. I just think it makes it nice and beautiful. If you want to leave it on, that's fine, but I find that cucumber skin is a little bit sour to me, just to me, but if you don't mind it, then feel free to keep it on, okay? Just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this cucumber down to where I can have little pieces that will match up with the size of the bell peppers. And I'm gonna leave some cucumbers because for our second wrap, we're gonna need cucumber as well. Just like this, get it nice and chopped up. Okay, let's see, I can come through it one more time in this manner and start to chop up. This is gonna give an amazing taste with that crab meat. I love the taste of fresh cucumber with this imitation crab meat. It's beautiful. And listen here, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit goes a long way, okay? See that there? That's what we're wanting. When I cut up the desired amount, I'll be right back. Okay, so we have all of our veggies cut up. Let's go ahead and take the desired amount of veggies that you would like to have in your mixture, put it into the bowl just like so. Beautiful, right? Put them in there, get those beautiful cucumbers in and those amazing scallions. We're gonna mix that in with our whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. And it's up to your discretion how much you wanna use. So really there's no measurements. Don't worry about the measurements, okay? So we're just gonna set this aside until we open up our crab meat. Now since I'm only gonna make one for this video, I only need one of these crab meats, okay? When you bring these crab meats home from your grocery store, I was able to find this at Walmart in the seafood section. Don't freeze these, okay? Do not freeze them. Okay, what I highly suggest is that you just bring them home and put them in your refrigerator. Now these are the flaked kind, it kind of flakes on its own just like this in this manner, but I like to chop mines up, okay? And we're gonna do just that until I get the size that I want. I'm just gonna take a knife and go over it roughly, okay, until it chops down nice and small. Not too small, you want that beautiful color going through. And like I said, that one package is just fine. I have the second pack because I might make some more of these later. All depends on how fast this goes. If, if my memory serves me right, they loved this the last time I made it, and I think this will go within an hour. <laughs> That's pretty fast, right? Okay, so I'm gonna bring the crab meat close to you so you can see 
just how fine yours should be cut, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna mix it right on in with our beautiful veggies in this manner. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to put everything onto this plate. Okay, the reason why I'm using a plate is because if I put it in a bowl, you really can't see down into the bowl what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna use a plate and that'll be just fine. We want to season this. Put you some cracked black pepper on there. It's gonna give you an amazing taste. As well as the flecks of that black going throughout, it's gonna make it amazing as well, beautiful. Good. Now each one is going to get one pack of ranch seasoning. You don't have to use the whole packet, but I feel like using a whole pack gives me amazing flavor every time. There's only a little bit in each packet. All right, there's that. Let's mix that ranch around in our vegetables and our crab meat, just like so in this manner. And now we're gonna take this whole thing of cream cheese, oh yeah baby. This whole thing here, and this is an eight ounce container. I love these containers, I save these containers for when I have leftovers. You can send your family members to work with, you know, maybe some fried rice or something that you made, and it has a lid and it's microwavable. <laughs> At least we put it in the microwave. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time to mix this up. I'll do this off camera. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing seafood pinwheel, Jeannie Young style. Okay, you wanna get this mixed up. Look at the beautiful colors. Look at the beautiful colors. Give it a taste. Mm. Oh, mommy, mm. doggone, that tastes so good. Mm. And it's the ranch and the seafood that really brings us together. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. As well as that cucumber. So now here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and take out your wrap that you're gonna use. Okay, so I decided to use the spinach garden, the green color, but what you wanna do is you wanna heat this up so it can be nice and pliable. And what I mean by pliable, it rolls easier once it's heated up and it actually tastes better. We're only gonna heat this up for 10 to 12 seconds and that's it. I'm gonna heat this up and I'll be right back. Okay, we heated that up on 12 seconds. It's nice, beautiful, soft and pliable. Okay, you put as much filling as you would like to have in your wrap, okay? You can't put too much, okay? Because it just wouldn't wrap for you, okay? So what you wanna do, I like to put about this much in and just give it a nice spread. Whatever I have left over, I can use this mixture for crab ragoons. You better believe you can. I have a video for crab, ragoon, crab ragoons and how to make them, check that video out. If you haven't already seen it, check it out, okay? Or you can save this mixture to make more, okay? Don't, don't throw it away, don't throw it away, never throw it away. We don't waste anything in this kitchen, okay? I'm gonna go all the way out to the edge and I'll come right back and show you how quick and simple it is to roll these. Be back. I'm gonna put a little bit more cracked black pepper in there just like so. And you'll know if you have too much mixture. Make it, make it about that thin, okay, not too thick. The re reason why you'll know is because you won't be able to roll it, okay? Now you wanna go in and start rolling it really nice and tight, okay? You all know how to do this. I'm sure lots of you know how to do this. <laughs> all right, and then you're just gonna keep rolling. Make it nice and tight. You don't want a loose pinwheel, okay? Now, if some of your filling comes out at the end, guess what? Don't stress out, don't stress out in that kitchen. All right, don't worry about it. If it comes out, just put it with the other mix. Don't make it a worry. See how mine's is coming out? Don't worry about that. We'll worry about that later. Okay, bring it in, make it nice and tight. Okay, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take that spoon, I'm going to take that off of there, okay? And we have a roll. We have a beautiful roll here. Here's what I'm going to do. I have some plastic wrap here, okay? We're going to roll it up nice and tight, all right? And we're going to set it in the refrigerator until 
my other roll is done and then we'll unfold you know take the wrapping off and i'm going to show you this abute this beautiful pinwheel that we've came up with okay this goes in the refrigerator just like so okay okay so let me show you how to make the second pinwheel we're going to take whipped cream cheese once again just like so in this manner put it onto whatever you're going to use mixing bowl a platter whatever you'd like to use would be just fine then you're going to put whatever veggies you would like to use into this mixture as well now with this mixture we're not going to use green onions but we are going to use the tricolored bell peppers the red and green we are going to use the cracked black pepper we're going to use the ranch we're also going to use cucumbers i need to cut up a few more cucumbers okay we're going to put that whole ranch packet in you better believe we are just like so in this manner <clears throat> i'm going to cut up some cucumbers and i'll be right back Chopping up our cucumbers, just like so in this manner. Remember, you don't need too much. A little bit goes a long way. Try to make them all the same size. Beautiful. Okay, so we have this mixture done and out the way. And make sure you take the time to really mix in that ranch powder and start off with half of a packet and then you taste it. If you feel like you need more, then you put the rest in, okay? Okay, so we had this hard salami sliced nice and thin for a reason. You want to overlap them as if they were shingles. We're going to make these around about the same size as our, and you can see I have plastic wrap here. Make them around about the same size as our uh, flour tortillas was, okay? You know how to do that. Make sure you overlap them, you know, just as if they were shingles, and then you overlap this part with that, okay? Because we're gonna do something really special. Now, I when I ordered this, I told them give me a half a pound. So that half a pound right here is gonna be the perfect amount to make your beautiful hard salami pinwheel. This one right here is so much fun to make. The kids can help you, and it tastes outrageous. All of the pinwheels that I make. There's another pinwheel that I make where I use peanut butter, marshmallow fluff. I use raisins and apples. And the adults, the kids, everyone, they absolutely adore it. So give that a try. And if you all want me to make that, I can show you how I make that as well. So let me know in the comment section below and I'll just have to make it for you all, okay? So here's how you do this. And I have one piece right there for me to eat. I don't know about you all, but I love hard salami. I love it, love it, love it. If you wanted to put a piece of Swiss cheese here, you better believe you can. It would be absolutely amazing. But we're gonna go ahead and put our beautiful, oh yeah, your cream cheese spread into this hard salami and I'm gonna do the same thing just as if this was the flour tortilla and then we're gonna give it a nice roll be careful with this because you don't want to take these from being shingled and you don't want to put too much on okay don't get crazy with it and once I get this nice and spread out all the way to the ends I'll be right back now what I'm doing here, it's very critical that you take your time to spread it out. Just a nice thin layer is all you're going to need. It doesn't have to be thick to make it beautiful in the inside, okay? Just a nice thin layer. So that's what I'm doing as we speak. Put a little bit of more cracked black pepper on there. I love these colors. These are the colors that I use, you know, and I only make these pinwheels for Christmas. I make a lot of hors d'oeuvres and you know little finger foods for christmas time because christmas time i don't do a whole whole lot of cooking i do things like this 
that are kind of quick and out, you know, you can get it done and out the way because most of us were spending time with the kids and watching them enjoy, you know, different things. I'm going to start to roll this up in this manner as I talk. Okay, and I want to make it tight just as if this was the flour tortilla. If you wanted to, you can use that plastic wrap to assist you in the rolling process, okay? But sometimes I feel like that plastic gets a little bit in my way. I'm gonna continue the roll this this way, and I'll be right back. Really quick and simple, right? You can see that I'm towards the end. A couple of times I had to use the plastic wrap just like this to help me to roll it. I'm gonna push it to the end and then we're gonna wrap this one up. Okay, so this one here is done. Now you wanna take that plastic wrap, take the time to get it nice and tight and rolled up like a cigar. You wanna roll the ends in just as we did the other one. Okay, you wanna make this one a little bit tighter than you did the, um, uh, the flour tortilla, okay? Get those sides well rolled in in this manner. Now this is gonna sit in the refrigerator for a couple of hours before we slice down into it. It's highly suggested that you let this sit so it can kinda come together. It needs at least an hour in the refrigerator. And then when I come back, we're gonna present these beautiful holiday pinwheels, perfect for your Christmas dinner table. They're gonna be beautiful. We're gonna say a nice prayer over them. We're gonna give them a try and I'm gonna let you all know what they taste like. Be back. Okay, you can see that I'm starting to slice down into our seafood pinwheels. Here's what they look like. Now the end, just cut the end off because the end is not gonna make that perfect cut, okay? And you don't have to throw away, go ahead and eat it. It's delicious. Okay, it's just not gonna make the most perfect, you know, how it's like that. All right, and you don't wanna cut these too thin. You wanna make them bite size, make them kind of thick, and I'm gonna show you exactly around about how thick. Look at that. Perfect to pick up, beautiful colors going all throughout. This right here is what I call an amazing pinwheel for your Christmas and your New Year's. Okay, now what I did, I'm going to be honest with you all, I put these in the freezer so they could set up even faster. You know, because if I put them in the refrigerator, I would want them to sit for about an hour. 15 minutes in the freezer did me good. Okay, and then I'll take the um, other ones out here in a second, and then we'll slice down into those and we'll put them on our platter. Just like so, in this manner. Pretty simple, right? Beautiful. Oh, Christmas couldn't be more beautiful. Okay, I'm unwrapping this one. Okay, just like so, and we're going to do the same thing. Find you a nice platter. This is my cake pan that typically I carry cakes on. Okay, I just put a little bit of foil because I feel like that foil um, looks holiday-ish. You know, it really shines. Look at this. Look just how beautiful. My goodness, these right here are so beautiful and so delicious. Voila. This right here is one appetizer that Gina Young always has on my Christmas dinner table, and it goes so fast. I'm so pleased to share with you all this recipe in hopes that you'll make it and let me know what you think about the recipe. If y'all enjoyed this video right here, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time, every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a beautiful prayer so we can dive in and give these a try. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today and every day. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against 
against us shall prosper, and we bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us daily. Amen. Thank you once again for this beautiful platter. Let's go in. Now, my mouth, honestly, I'm going to be honest, my mouth is watering for this seafood right here. Look at this. Give this a try. And there's no taking one bite. You have to take, you have to put the whole thing up in your mouth. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to, oh, I can't wait. Go ahead, guys, because I am so ready for this. Mmm. 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 Oh, mm, it's so delicious. It's packed with flavor. Amazing. I do have a little bit left. Mmm, my goodness. Okay, and now let's go ahead. You guys might hear the kids in the basement. They're making lots of noise. I don't know what they're doing downstairs. Never mind them. Okay, so now let's go ahead and taste this one right here. It's so beautiful. Oh, mm, look at that right there. My goodness, look how beautiful. This right here, it screams, it screams the holidays. I'm getting a little bit of light from my window. There, you can see it a little bit better. Look at that, taste that right there. Let me know what you think. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. But not before we give this a try. We, we gotta give this a try. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, <laughs> mm, you better make you some.